Okay, and today in the post, I received a BBC micro bit. Focus, come on. So, in my package was a BBC micro bit, a download cable, a battery holder, a pack of crocodile clip cables, some batteries, a quick start guide, a little buzzer and a little plastic housing which can be put together to protect the micro bit along with all the necessary paperwork to begin with I did not get this in retail packaging so what I have you may not if you order one so if you've seen images of the micro bit you'll have seen they come in several colours but you don't get to choose your colour so I will find the list of colours and if you check the card in this corner predict what colour you think I'm going to have now have you chosen your option then? let's open it so I think you pull this tab here and this tab here and this bit folds over and we get our first look at the micro bit. Let's try and put this packet in the best position to get the micro bit out. Come on, little light micro bit friend. I got a yellow one. Or, well, well yellowy orange. So now we have done that, let's build its little box. First, I'll get rid of this. Okay, let's build the case. So I've changed position here and I'm just going to move this to one side. Here's the case and the case's instructions. And it's all very simple. So let's get started. So this case is a MI Pro protective case for the BBC Micro Bit, and it's a Kittronic case. So I'll place up there. Here's all the parts. So you have this part, this part this part and all these little parts so opening the instructions it says find the bit with this bit and put it this way around yes so place it this way up and then find the four large screws out of the little bag and place one through each corner Now we've done that step, now you need to get to your battery holder, which is here, and screw it using 
this little nut, this screw, and this piece together. So you get this piece and you turn the batch pack this way, line up the screw and screw it on. So I'll do this bit off camera because it may be a bit fiddly. Okay, I haven't done it yet but part way through it looks like you're going to need a crosshead screwdriver for this little protective case. Okay, battery holder screwed in, let's continue with the next step. So it looks like you'll need these two pieces which came in the little bag. And if you line them up right, they should fit in with the rest of the board. So it looks like these bits go on here. Yes. Then the micro bit fits. Wait. For a moment, I put them on the wrong way round. The micro bit fits in like that. all fit together by the end. Okay, I'll put the rest of this together and be back in a moment. Okay, bit of assembly later and here it is inside the little plastic protective case. You can see the battery pack screws in top and just as a note the battery pack that is included with the micro bit is not the one that's designed for the case and it has all the pin still like open so that if you were to buy one of these boards which you plug the micro bit in like this into a board here it would still work so let's see what this thing can do Okay, off camera, I've just put the computer on this table, but I found out by reading the quick start guide that there are a couple of things it can do before you can con you need to connect it to a computer. And if we read this, it says connect your BBC micro bit to some power, which I'll do now to get some batteries. Open them. The ones, the ones that I have been supplied with, are green cell, and they look like AAA batteries. And by the looks of it, it can take three volt input. So, placing a battery in this side and a battery in this side the wrong right way round right so it says get set up connect your BBC micro bit by connecting the battery pack press the buttons when the BBC micro bit asks you to watch light display and cool patterns which it is doing now A a B and I think it's saying to shake it because this thing has an accelerometer and a gyro sensor and a compass sensor on it
chase the dot. So on the pre-programmed games is chase the dot, which I don't know how to play. Uh, ah, tilting. So you can see, if I just place this down and get a better camera angle, you can play chase the dot using the BC micro bit. So you can see now I'm at this camera angle by tilting the micro bit the little dot on the screen, the one in the centre, is slowly moving. Just need to get it one step further. Right. Let's do it with this hand. What am I? Right, I'm going to set this up off camera and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are on the BBC Microbit website that can and the link can be found in the description. And it says on the instructions to select the coding editor that you would like to code with. Now how do we do that? You can see there's a bit of motion. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm going to do it in the block editor, I think. Uh, yes, I think so. And you'll notice that it is very similar to Scratch. As far as I can tell. So now I'm going to find where I can open this. Because I actually need to be able to use it. Um, how do I use this? Okay, so I think I want to go to create code. Aha! Da, 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 da. Here it is, and I'm going to do it in the drag and drop to make it simple. While it loads. So it says connect your beauty micro bit to your computer using the micro USB cable. So, I have the cable here, and I'm just going to plug it in. There's that end. And this end. I might bring the mic a bit here for a second. It can go in there. Right. The micro bit is now connected to the computer. Uh, there's a message that is completely unneeded. So currently, I don't have any kind of connect like LEDs or anything. So we're just going to be have to use it with the basic um, inbuilt screen and buttons. So you can see this is very, very, very much like Scratch. And you can see, with a bit of work, you could probably get a really good bit of code going. So, I will stop the screen record here and come back in a bit once I've got a bit of code and then I'll show you it on the micro bit.
Okay, so I've written the program, and you can see it is very, very, very basic. So what it's going to do is, when the button A is pressed, repeat the next bit of string four times, and that is just changing what is shown on the little LED screen. So, let's switch back to the camera and see what it does. Okay, so after programming the micro bit, which you've just seen, now I'm going to run the program that I did in the screen recording. So let's... Now I'm going to have to refer to the instructions of how you get the program onto the micro bit. Not your micro bit, did you? Compile. Compiling. Okay. So you can see on the... So to begin with, I'm going to have to put it in the file on the computer, which is where the micro bit is. So, I'll do that, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've shut the lid on the computer too, because we don't need it anymore, but I've managed to make what looks like some sort of digital business card. Any flickering you see of the LEDs now is it's not flickering in real life, it is the camera making it look like it's flickering. So, the dog media. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video about the BBC Micro bit and I'm hoping I will make more content about it in the future. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.